Hey May, thanks for chatting. So uh, why are you here today? I just saw today that this is happening and thought, of, of course I'm going to be here. i got to be here. I'm, I'm really uh, incensed by the recent article that the BBC put out with its inflammatory headline and its sort of uncritically platforming very transphobic views, uh, which I think is really dangerous. And um, it's bad journalism and it's not unbiased reporting and I, I pay a license fee for the BBC, so it's, it's frustrating to say the least. So if the... Oh, here we go. Uh, if you had to say anything to the BBC, if the BBC came out here personified and started speaking to you, what would you tell them? Um, I would say, well, I'm holding this sign uh, that somebody very kindly gave me, which so I would say retract the article, print an apology, and start restorative justice process, which includes um, platforming very informed uh, trans voices um, and... Uh, yeah, I mean, it's frustrating. I think they even, they sent out the, the unedited version of the article to Brazil. Uh, it's just very dangerous. And um, yeah, I just encourage the BBC to listen to, to trans people. Cool, cool. So last thing, then I'll leave you alone. Um, how important do you think it is for trans people to show up and protest when these things happen? Um... It's, I think it's pretty crucially important to show up about things that you care about. I think protesting brings important visibility and, and makes a difference, but um, yeah, it's tough. I wish there were more, more allies here, more people here, but um, it's nice to be here and feel a sense of community anyway in a time that it's, there's a real palpable hostility in this country and a hysteria around trans rights. So uh, yeah, it's nice to come and be with like-minded people. Thank you so much for chatting. No worries, thank you.